Hi, in this video, we will learn how to prepare common size balance sheet. So let's go on to the example sum. Example sum. From the following balance sheet of SRS Limited, prepare common size balance sheet. We have the balance sheet of SRS Limited given with balances on 31st March 2020 as well as 31st March 2019 and we are asked to prepare the common size balance sheet. So let's go on to the solution. Solution SRS Limited Common size balance sheet as at 31st March 2019 and 31st March 2020. We have particulars, the note number, we'll write here the absolute amounts, beginning with 31st March 2019, followed by 31st March 2020. And write down the percentage of the balance sheet total. Beginning with 31st March 2019 percentage and 31st March 2020 percentage. We we'll first need to reproduce the figures. Roman number one equity and liabilities. One, we have shareholders' funds. A share capital sixty lakh and eighty lakh. B is reserves in surplus eight lakh. and 12 lakh the two is non current liabilities a is long term borrowings Twenty lakh and twenty four lakh. The three is current liabilities under that we have short term borrowings. Twelve lakh and four lakh. The equity and liability side is done. We have total one one crore rupees. And one crore twenty lakh 
rupees. Let's move on to Roman number two assets. We have one non current assets. Under that, a fixed asset. I is tangible asset. Sixty lakh. And eighty lakh. Roman number. Part two, intangible assets. Twelve lakh and four lakh. We'll move on to current assets. We have A as inventories, twenty lakh, twenty four lakh, and B as cash and cash equivalents, eight lakh. And twelve lakh. We'll write the total one crore and one crore twenty lakh rupees. Now what we need to do is we need to assume that the total on either side it's 100% we'll complete the equity and liability part of the balance sheet we are going to equate the total of the liability side of the balance sheet to 100% so in the case of share capital for 31st march 2019 it would be 60 lakh divided by 1 crore multiplied by 100 which is 60% so we'll insert 60% over here similarly we have 8 lakh divided by 100 lakh multiplied by 100 Is eight percent for the third figure. It's long-term borrowings twenty lakh divided by hundred lakh multiplied by hundred is twenty percent. And for the final figure, twelve lakh divided by hundred lakh multiplied by hundred. It's twelve percent. Let's do the same thing for the asset side. Sixty lakh divided by hundred lakh multiplied by hundred, sixty percent. We need to equate the total of the balance sheet to hundred percent. In the case of intangible assets, it's twelve lakh divided by hundred lakh multiplied by hundred, twelve percent. In the case of inventories, it's twenty lakh divided by hundred lakh multiplied by hundred, which is twenty percent, and eight percent. Eight lakh divided by hundred lakh multiplied by hundred. We've completed thirty first March twenty nineteen. We'll move on to. Thirty-first March, twenty twenty, one crore twenty lakh rupees 
or 120 lakh rupees is to be equated to 100 percent so we have for share capital it's 80 lakh divided by 120 lakh multiplied by 100 66.67% In the case of reserves and surplus it's 12 lakh divided by 120 lakh multiplied by 100 which is 10% In the case of long term borrowings 24 lakh divided by 120 lakh multiplied by 100 20% and 4 lakh divided by 120 lakh multiplied by 100 it's 3.33 percent we'll move on to the asset side We have 80 lakh divided by 120 lakh multiplied by 100. 66.67 percent. We have for intangible assets 4 lakh divided by 120 lakh multiplied by 100. It's 3.33 percent. For inventories, we have 24 lakh divided by 120 lakh multiplied by 100. It's 20%. And in the case of cash and cash equivalents, we have 12 lakh divided by 120 lakh multiplied by 100, which is 10%. So the solution is done. I will remove the split, we will view the entire answer. So this is the example sum on top. We asked to prepare the common size balance sheet. The solution, the first screen. And the second screen. <laughs> 